Hey guys, RC here. We are back, episode 13 of Climbing the Ladder Club 5. We are at FK Karlskrona in Sweden, and we are back for today's opening match with Helsingbergs, but let's take a quick catch-up. So after the uh, opening win against Reinig 3-1 last episode with the uh, transfers, uh, we beat Geffel 2-0, uh, Thony with a goal at the end of the first half, uh, Martin Johansson was sent off uh, just a minute later before the half ended. And then we got a second goal from Philip Lindbaum late in the match to secure the win. We, here we were on a seven-match unbeaten run. I was thinking, hey, things are looking great. And then reality hit. Uh, we lost 3-1 to one to Hassel Holmes. Uh, Stoney was sent off in the 24th minute. Lindbaum scored on a penalty. Uh, to make it 2-1 to one at halftime, and then they got an insurance goal late in the second half. And then uh, against Brahma Poskarna, uh, we lost 1-0, Michael Martinson with a first-half goal. We didn't play badly. We had a couple of guys that played badly, but, you know, we didn't play badly, but we just couldn't generate anything. Falkenbergs, we had a 1-1 draw. We had a, uh, They had a player sent off. Uh, we just could not make that count. And then a 5-5 <laughs> draw against uh, Timra. Uh, ha, let's see, Spenson scored, Lindbaum with a brace, Thony scored, and Martin Johansson scored a late equalizer to gain the points. Here's the problem. We were up 3-0 at one point. Then it was 3-1. Then we made it 4-1 in the 64th minute. So with 26 minutes left, we blew a three-goal lead and needed a late goal just to secure a point. So that was not good. Uh, we just beat Sirius 2-1, to one, Spenson and Limbaum with goals again. Taking a look at the squad here in the early going. Uh, we have seven goals in seven matches for Limbaum, two and six for Thony, and two and two for Jacob Spenson. Uh, so it looks like he's going to slide into that second striker role because uh, we're just not seeing a lot from anybody else. Uh, we do have some transfer news, and it's not good. Andreas Anderson uh, has departed the club for $3,600. Uh, he was one of our new signings this year. Very solid right back. Not the greatest, but, you know, he was solid for us. Uh, six matches, a 7-1 rating. He played well for us last year when he came over on a free. And the board accepted that deal. So I was a little perturbed. Uh, nothing on the incoming front. In fairness, I mean, you know, we're, we're well under the payroll cap, even with before we traded him or sold him. Um, but... We're only 8,000 under the cap, but we have lost $340,000 this year. So this is one of those situations that, yes, we're within the budget, but we're not making any money. I probably need to be in the twenty-five dollars to $30,000 payroll range to actually be balancing the books or breaking even. But um, we won't be competitive if we do that. Uh, I do have some dead weight. You know, we'll be able to get rid of some players. I want to get about 15, 20 games into the season, and then I can kind of evaluate. The worst thing is we can't sell anybody. You know, the you know they only want the very best of the best players, and you know anybody that I'd want to get rid of, I'd have to let go on a free. So. You know, I, I don't I don't know if it's worth doing that, but you know we're gonna have to cut some dead weight. So coming into today's match, we are the underdogs. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, we have been playing the same tactic. Just to remind you, we do have uh, this tactic and this tactic as well uh, that we had talked about in the opening episode. But this is the one that we have been going with. So Falk is going to slide back into that right back spot and be our regular starter. Stefan Tilden is uh, getting a little bit of game time for Thony on the left side today. I don't think you guys have seen him in a live game yet. 
which is all right. You, know, you got some players that you know are your regular starting eleven, and some that are not. So hope you guys are having a good day. A little flick on header. Hallquist is uh, all right. He jumped in front. I don't know what the delay was there, but hmm, a bad backwards pass. Lindbaum pounces on it and puts in his eighth goal in the early part of the season. I'm thinking he's got a good shot at 20 this year. That was uh. That was a rough pass. Went behind the defender. Lindbaum all over it. And we've got to make that count. And then, of course, we go right to a set piece and give up the goal. Is it just me or are set pieces uh, kind of OP in FM20? Just, you know, throwing that out there. I'm going to drop back to balanced. All right, good defensive play. He looked to lump it forward, but decided against it. That's good. The referee's trying to get involved in the game. Deep ball to Kroon down into the corner. Crossed in. And Lindbaum with a brace. That's his second here in the early going in the 21st minute and we are up two to one so i worked a half day today a uh, little over a half day i guess i had to go meet one of my co-workers uh about two hours about an hour and a half away uh over near the texas louisiana state border and uh pick up some stuff from him so usually I work, uh, you know, 7.30 to 3.30 as my eight-hour day. And uh, so today I was out before 6.30, and I got back to the house at about 12.30. So uh, I wasn't feeling real good, um, and it was not the Super Bowl flu because today's Tuesday. I, was, I didn't feel good yesterday. I think he was off sides. Free up there it goes off sides. Uh, but yeah, I worked a full day yesterday and I got home and just felt pretty cruddy. And uh, I, I set a video to rendering, in fact, the video that went up today on uh, Tuesday, I set to render and I went upstairs and went to bed at about 5 30 and uh, woke up, ate a little bit of dinner, and then went back to sleep. Oh my god. And it's that Christopher Jansen again. Shit. He was just wide open there. Feeling okay. You know, I mean, I don't, it's, you know, I don't feel really bad. Just, oh, man. Come on, guys. Y'all got to get in front of that ball. Just demand more. Probably blew that shout. We didn't get the full... 10 minutes. If you're not aware, if you do a shout, you get the benefit for 10 game minutes. So, uh, sure. And anybody? We got uh, Sundstrom playing a 6-3. I'll keep an eye on him. So let's get 10 minutes of creativity here in the early going. You were going the wrong way, Hallquist. Falk over the top. Nice ball to Kroon. Runs on to it. No, that was not good. All right, there's a good cross. Oh, I thought that was going to get over the keeper's head. We had him running in on the left side. Dooland. Johansson. Good save. Peterson injured for Helsenbergs. All right, Sundstrom's down to a 6-2. Let's go ahead and pull him off. Adolfson. He doesn't have pace, but, you know, he can actually head the ball much better than him. So let's... Much better than him, too. Hmm. Let's move him out to the, to the wing there. Head it out. It'll be a 
goal kick for us. And more. Some really poor. Oh my God. And Falk's going to be gone. So we will be a man down and we will be suspended there. Let's see, Martin Johansson. So if we bring him in and we bring all these guys in as central defenders, both of those guys support. I think we're going to drop back to cautious there. That didn't really matter, did it? Falkenberg, Simone Francia. We are going to let this one slip away from us. I think we're going to have to go back up to attacking again. Try to get push forward. Strikers are fired up. Well, you know what? We're just going to ride these guys. Quick one two passing. He just lumps it down into the corner. Johansson makes the run, gets it out to Adolfson. No, we can't do that. Look at that distribution. Even a reverse header to their own teammate. All right, Baggi. Oh, nice little upward pass. Good. Oh, there's a nice ball. Nicholson. Oh, no. I think Lindbaum would have been the guy I wanted making that run. Oh, shit. <laughs> he was not expecting the pass back, was he? All right, this will be a long pass into the box because that's how they roll. Oh, wait, no, he throws it to the other team. That's awesome. That's just so awesome. If I was on the sideline right there, I would just have my head down in my hands like this going, what an idiot. What an idiot. <laughs> How do you not even throw it to your own teammate or clear the, the first marker? Ugh. All things considered, we didn't play bad. Being a man down did, did hurt. And it was a second yellow, so we can't really get mad. So we're sitting directly mid-table which there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, one match suspension. Lindbaum with two goals. We will tell him that we're happy. And we are. And we're supposed to finish in the top half. So the board is still happy. By the way, we just had a, a board takeover. Well, not a takeover, but we had uh, club elections. And we had a new club president, uh, board president uh, e elected. So... Uh, he came in and said, we're not changing anything, and we're not judging you on how you've done in the past. It's going to start again from today. So where does uh, head coach performance? So you'll see right here, uh, matches and transfers, those all zero out uh, because they're not judging you on anything that's happened before. So, you know, that is what it is. All right, well, we'll be back for the next match here in just a second where we will be playing Sunval, who are currently second in the table. So we are road underdogs. Falk is suspended from the red card last game. Martin Cech is out with knee ligaments for a couple of weeks, and we are still sitting eighth in the table. Uh, so let's see. Daniel Johansson. I think all think he has much better communication, but he has much better shot stopping. I think I want to give Gustafson the, the the net. It's just my thought. Lindbaum. Eight twelve. 
13.9. Let's go ahead and start him. Actually, I want to look at my center backs. See, we've got Howland playing on the left. All right, so he's got pace, but he's only got five heading. He's got six pace, but he's a much better header of the ball. So, oh, did I have Hal in there already? Never mind. All right, Johansson is a four. Adolfson should go there. All right, he's suspended. All right, so he'll go there. Marking, pace, let's go ahead and put Hallquist there, check is injured, 14 passing, 9 passing, so I want Badgie to be my playmaker, actually let's, okay I want Erickson off the field, okay so let's see, let's go here for here, and then here or here. There we go. All right, that's what we want. That's what I want. Get Thony back on the field. I don't know why I wouldn't put him in, but oh well. Morale. Morale could be better. All right, we're in the orange again. Oh my God, did we actually get a header there? Oh, well, it didn't matter because we gave it away. Ekstrom on the run. How in the hell? Their guy makes the run. Our defender's there, and he's able to get the pass around him. My guys play the pass right into the legs every time. Every time. There's a nice ball over the top. Lindbaum. Damn. Green seats, but they have no green in their kit. Interesting. And see, that ball right there would have deflected right into the path of a shooter who would have scored. Ours goes right to a defender. Oh, there's a nice steal by Johansson. Don't you, you're not freaking messy or something, dude. You're, I'm looking to see if there was even any orange jerseys on the screen at that point. I, I'm, I'm guessing he wasn't making a shot. I would, I'm guessing. Uh, Spence and nice. What are you doing? You're not helping here, man. Oh, that was a little unlucky. Just deflected wide. Why our striker was not up top there. Ah. All right, Hallen. Back to Hallquist. Up to Badgy. Did you see did you see Spence and he was like, Where are you kicking the ball, dude? <laughs> that was hilarious. He was like, What the hell was that? Baggy with a nice ball. Thony's there. Thony! Yes! Get in there! Uh, that was the decision of the game to put him in. Fights for the ball. Good job. 1-0. Oh, I Play. Oh, <laughs> oh Baggy. Oh, there's another deep ball. Nilsson. Oh, that little heel kick. The heel kick always works for the computer AI. Not so much for uh for the human coach. All right, there's a nice ball. In, Spenson. 
Oh, offsides. Really? Yeah, just a step. I thought maybe that right back was keeping him on, but it was not meant to be. Demand more. Let's get 10 minutes of that here in the early going. Uh-oh. Look at that deflection right into the path of an attacker. I don't think that was very detrimental on the, as a defensive player. Just my personal thinking. Gustafson. Gustafson's looking pretty strong. I think we need to make him our, our number one. It's just my, my personal feeling. The communication is very good for the other guy, but the problem is Guftison is not our player. He, he's alone. He's a loney. Oh, my God. What are y'all doing? Oh, shit. Get it out. What was that? Did Thony just heel kick that? That was awesome. And that was horrible. But Gustafson makes the save. Good job. Good job. I wasn't sweating that in the least. Okay, another goal opportunity. We've only had five shots. Get creative. The back line's feeling pressure. Wait, what? Get creative. Oh, nice, nice. Gets it up to Spenson. He's got a runner in Lindbaum. Lindbaum gets the touch. It's a breakaway. And he's off target. Damn it. Damn it. You, you can't just... Is that uh, is that the guy that we trade that sold? I think Step and Mom. No, no, it was another guy. Okay, fair enough. But that was not good. Let's uh, let's pop into tactics for just a moment. I'm gonna drop the tempo down. So when I when I read about tempo. Take their time with the ball, retaining possession. So they work more on retaining possession. All right. I think I want to do that. All right, Johansson. Plays it up. Of course, it goes to a defender. That's, a, that's, that's how you head it. You head it to somebody on your team. That can then clear it, or you do a heel kick and just leave it there for the other team to have a two-on-one breakaway. And have your goalkeeper be all world and stop the shot. Which is what we hope for. Thony. Come on. Oh, good ball. Good job. All right, Thony heads it down, but nobody's in the middle. Perfect. Oh, the keeper was not cutting off that angle too well. And Svensson's dead. Oh, he ripped his groin. Ow. All right, let's see. No... Yes. All right, Nicholson. We're going to put him in. All right. So we were at 5-5, five, five, then we were 9-5, to five, and now we're 11-10. So it's definitely been a seesaw battle in the... Excellent. Okay, kissing their ass if that's going to help them a little bit, I guess. Lindbaum's playing a 6-6. Thony and Baggi. 
All right. Um, Falkenburn. Francia. Pace, passing, marking, tackling. Like that. Now, Baggi. All right. So I want to, I'm going to switch these two guys. And I'm going to make him a defender. And I'm just going to make him a central midfielder. Give him a little more free reign. See how that works out. You want to maybe put a tackle there or something? Good stab at the ball there by Johansson. He gets out in front of his man. He's making the run. Lindbaum comes over and gets it. All right, he lays it back to Johansson. Not good. Not good there, fellas. Okay. I guess the, the goalpost decided to play for our team today. Look how he caught that ball, didn't it? <laughs> like caught it and then just dropped it like nobody saw that, right? All right, we've made we've made two subs already. I was thinking I forgot about the injury. That's all right. I really need another center back, probably two. I'd like to upgrade center backs. Nicholson over the top, takes the touch, tries to go back across the keeper. I like what he was thinking. Good thought process. Johansson. Ah. That was a dangerous ball in the mixer. All right. Let's get 10 minutes of passion. Nope, nothing. All right. You know, that always works for Kev. Oh, through ball into the channel. Nilsson steps over and cannot get it past the keeper. Oh, knocked away. Baggi turns it again. Oh, my God. The shot by Baggi goes right into a defender's face. In the face. Oh, that's brutal. T.O. Nilsson, boy, you are sucking up life, dude. All right, Kroon. Kroon. Come on, do something. Push forward. Oh, they're frustrated. Wait, what? Push forward. Let's go positive then. Take the point. Take the point. All right. Well, even nine to eight on chances, and we and we only both ended up with one goal. Gustafson played very well. Yeah, I'll say they played well. We were underdogs, right? So walking away with a point, pretty fitting. It does drop us to ninth, though. One point behind Geppel. Geffley. I'm going to go with Geppel, but I'm 99% sure it's probably wrong. But we are 12, so we're four points out of relegation. We're five points out of the playoffs. So, you know, middle of the pack, 12 points from nine. We're over, uh, we're over that one point per match mark. I think you need to, you know, to, to make playoffs, you've got to be right in that two point per game mark, you know. Five to six weeks. All right, that's gonna that's gonna suck for our striker position. Six key passes. All right. Well, I guess let's get into another month. Let's come back. Uh, Geppel's right above us in the table. For let's come back. Let's come back for Jan Kopings and uh, or Jan Kopings Sodra. That team sounds familiar. Um, if you're new to the channel, I actually had a Swedish team, uh, Hammersby, uh, FM18 maybe? 
it was either 18 or 19. It was a while back, but it was my, I think it was 18. And we did really good with Hammerby. Uh, but uh, they are, uh, Tom, you remember, because that's when you joined my channel, because you were a Hammerby fan. So let, put it in the comments if you remember. Uh, but let's come back for that. That'll give us five more matches, uh, Jan Kopings and Geffel, and we'll see where we sit there. Nothing on the job front. Nobody has uh, reached out to us. I haven't been looking. Uh, reputation did not go up even for winning the silverware last year, which was just a little disappointing. But, uh, hey, that's all right. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. And we will see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.